I'm going to review these cats gluten-free toaster pastries um, we these ones are the brown sugar cinnamon ones they come in the foil packets just like other ones and now there is only one in here I wasn't sure it does say a count of four um, but there's one in here it kind of almost looks like two but they're just kind of thick a little bit thicker than you're used to with a um, non-gluten-free one and you can see like you can see the stuff in there and these ones are iced they they have the iced ones and the uniced ones the main thing I found about these is you put them in your toaster you want to make sure you do low setting and it does say that on the directions if you don't do low setting and you don't cook them for very long then you're going to melt all of the frosting onto your toaster so um, that's the main thing with these but they taste pretty good I like them my son likes them the cinnamon ones they taste cinnamony you can taste the brown sugar and the cinnamon in there they taste pretty good you could try the microwave microwave directions are also on here I have not tried that yet I have found I do okay in the toaster oven as long as I do low setting for not very long but all in all we enjoy them and actually they're very good untoasted too I just ate a little quarter off there so you can see the inside and if you want to be able to taste the frosting a little more, um, untoasted is a little bit better. Either way, they're good. So they're gluten-free, dairy-free, um, soy-free, nut-free, and egg-free. So pretty good if you are needing something on a specialty diet.